Um, <clears throat> I know the, the sheriff isn't here right now, uh, but I just wanted to bring this up today and perhaps we can put it on the uh, agenda for the next meeting. I, I thought it was going to be on the agenda for today, but it's probably just as well that it wasn't with the sheriff not being here. Um, <clears throat> probably most everyone in, in this room is aware that, that there have been checkpoints uh, for, for drunk drivers. They uh, are usually located in Wakefield. I believe it comes up once a year, maybe twice a year. Um, <clears throat> when, when we take our oath uh, to serve the public, we swear an oath to the Constitution. And <clears throat> it just should be reminded, perhaps, that the U.S. Constitution's Amendment Number 4 uh, reads as, as follows. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. Um, Perhaps <clears throat> between now and the next meeting, we, we might all uh, take a look at uh, Amendment Number Four, and, and I'll have copies for each of us uh, at the next meeting. But <clears throat> the checkpoints are a violation of of the Fourth Amendment. You might want to uh, bring that up uh, with. The the county attorney and or the sheriff, uh, they might appear at the next meeting. So I think that would be a more appropriate place to deal with. I'm, I'm not ready to uh, to do my own interpretation of the U.S. Constitution, uh, but uh, we thank some other people who would. I'd like to give it up. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that did come up at a commissioner's meeting, and it came up in regards to us signing a contract with the sheriff for was either six hundred or eight hundred dollars to do this work. Uh, he was called in, and he did give somewhat of a reason for doing it. Um, somewhat maybe questionable. So I think he could be on the agenda. Great. Great. We'll, we'll do that. Um, I would I would suggest that it's not the sheriff or the county attorney, but rather the state level that funds all of this that is the appropriate person to come and talk about the legality of this because it is all that all that the individual police units are doing is doing the work of the state because they want to make sure that the state is covered in regards to or there was a federal grant. Yeah, federal grant. So often that happens. But if we're going to have that discussion, we need to make sure that the appropriate people from the state are here to... Okay, that's good.